My English teacher told me that cool and chilly are synonyms, but my American friend told me that they mean different things. Who should I believe? Well, both of those people are correct. Cool and chilly are synonyms. However, they are also not exactly the same. What? Yeah, when we say that two words are synonyms, that does not always mean that they mean the exact same thing. And it does not always mean that we can use them in the exact same situations. I'm Teacher Mike. I help adults, like you, learn real English that they can use in their daily lives. Today, we are very quickly talking about synonyms what they are, and how I recommend learning them. So, what are synonyms? Synonyms are words that mean the same thing, or almost the same thing. As you can see, we have a bit of a problem, because there is a big difference between being exactly the same and being almost the same. So, when teaching English, I don't like to use the word synonym. Instead, I usually say that two words mean exactly the same thing. I say that two words mean basically the same thing. Or, I say that two words are similar. Exactly the same means that they are 100% the same. Basically the same means that there might be a small difference, but most of the time, that difference is not important. And when I say that two words are similar, that means that there probably is an important difference between them. So, cool and chilly are synonyms because they both describe a low temperature. However, instead of saying that they are synonyms, I would usually say that they are similar. This is because the way that we use them is different. Cool usually sounds very nice and comfortable, whereas chilly sounds a bit uncomfortable. You might say something like, It's nice and cool outside. We should go for a walk. Chilly doesn't really work in that sentence. Likewise, you might step outside and say, Ooh, it's chilly out here. I should go get my jacket. In that example, chilly works, but cool does not. So, how should you learn synonyms? If you are interested in learning synonyms, the easiest thing to do is use a thesaurus. But remember that most of the words that you see will not mean exactly the same thing, or be appropriate to use in the exact same situations. So, instead of telling yourself, Okay, all of these words mean the same thing. Tell yourself, Okay, these are all similar words that probably have important differences. So, if you look up cool in a thesaurus and you see the word chili, instead of saying, Okay, chili and cool mean the same thing, Spend some time researching the word chili. Look up the definition and spend some time trying to understand how it is similar to cool and how it is different from cool. Then search for maybe 10 to 20 example sentences for each word and pay attention to the different situations in which cool is used and the different situations in which chili is used. Basically, when a teacher gives you a list of synonyms or words that you should use instead of another word, especially if this is a teacher on social media who is telling you that these words are going to make your English sound more advanced, be very careful. If they are giving you one word to use instead of another word, yeah, it might mean the same thing. But if they are giving you three, four, or five words, there is no way that all of those words mean exactly the same thing. And you should spend some time looking each one up and searching for example sentences if you want to make sure that you really understand what they mean. 
If you found this video useful, please don't forget to give it a like. Doing this both really helps my channel and it also helps other English learners because it tells them that this is a good video to watch. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.